Welcome to another electrifying episode of the NRL Live Chat 2.0 podcast. Get ready for all the footy action and insights you crave. Here are your dynamic hosts, PJ and Breno. Round 20, hey, geez. Hi everyone, it's Breno here at NRL Live Chat 2.0 podcast. And I'm here with PJ, of course. The legend himself is here. How you going, mate? I'm going well. What a week we've had. Also, the footy last week, Origin last night. Oh, my God. I can't wait to get into it. We are going to rip into this tonight. Yes. With uh, some breaking news. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the New South Wales Blues are the champions of the world. <laughs> Go the Blues. What a game, Breno. Awesome. awesome. Oh. Brilliant. Oh. What have we got? So, yeah, Blues champions of the world uh, trailing 4-2 in the 64th minute. Uh, Blues slid through the Maroons' defence line before linking up with Bradman Best. Gave the Knights to cross for the opening try of the game. Then Moses sealed the deal with his uh, match-winning try, his solo effort. And New South Wales 14, Queensland 4, New South Wales keeping the Maroons trialless. What a great game. What do you reckon of it, PJ? You watched it, obviously. Oh, mate, I was on the edge of my seat, literally (laughs) on the edge of the couch. I nearly fell off a couple of times. There were some amazing moments in that game. But I tell you, it took me back to the 80s, actually. The old Wally Lewis and and Sun uh, Lang Parkers back then. All the origins used to be 14, 12, 14, 10. They were super close and um, and super physical. Yeah. So high emotion. It was it was it took me right back. That was the best origin game this century. For Quote sure. me right now. <laughs> best game this century. The, the the first half was just an absolute bloodbath. The the the, the spillage on the sideline. We'll get into that in a minute. And then and then Bradman Best gets that ball from. Luai, oh. and and just just carves up his teammates. Oh. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. carves yeah. up Gagai and Ponga to score in the corner, Ponga and then had Queensland. On him. Yeah, it's crazy. Queensland go the short kickoff, and then Crichton makes a huge break, and um and Moses pretty much sums it up right after that, parting the maroon sea yeah. and going in again. Moses Didn't parts think that. the yeah, sea Mo- for the Moses second parts time. the maroon sea. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Yep, he just, he just <laughs> stepped in between them and whooshka, game over. Nice work, yeah. Well done to the Blues. Uh, congratulations also to Dylan Edwards for player of the match and the Wally Lewis medal for the series went to Angus Crichton. Well done, guys. Well earned. Thoroughly deserved. I thought yeah. Angus Crichton played a phenomenal game last night too. He was unlucky not to get both those medals. Mm. Yeah, a bit of a stink, wasn't there? So um, here's the judiciary wrap after that little um, push and shove contest that happened there in the first half. A couple of people got sent off. Oh, I wasn't sent off, but put in 10 in the bin. But there's a few fines yep. and a... Couple of suspensions, Cameron yep. Murray, Jeremiah Nanai, Toto, Ruben Cotter, and Habby Wife for Tabby Wife for Doe getting 13 to 20 percent of their match fee. Yeah. Is it 13 or is it 20? I'm not sure. Yeah, what are you doing there? Odd but, number, uh, yeah. yeah, strangely, <laughs> um, Cherry Evans, who, who started the whole thing by face palming Luai, yeah. not on the list, got away with uh, it, not on the list, which is very Absolutely strange. Jeremiah Nanai. Come flying in. He deserved 10 in the bin. I don't think the yeah, other two did. Shot. Yeah. yeah. Cameron Murray, not sure what he was thinking as a South fan. Now he's going to be missing for two yeah. games. Ooh. But he's off the field and he runs over. And it didn't look <laughs> like he did much. I watched the replay very carefully. It didn't like he threw a punch or anything nasty. Uh, it's just the fact I he was off the field off the and broke the ball. Yeah, yeah. So the first time in origin history a player has been sin binned from the bench, the referee stand there going, "You got to take someone off now, guys! Like <laughs> you got to pick someone because you know, no one knew, knew knew what had happened and it never happened before. Yeah, so it was bizarre, astounding. It? I thought that was weird, but I, yeah, the referee's calling him over. He's like, "I'm on the bench, though." Like off he goes. Yeah. It's like, that's the longest yeah. walk. Your ten in the bin, and someone else has to the, go off. Walked all the way back to the field, onto the field, then walked all the way back off for ten yeah. for ten minutes. <laughs> I just called you on to tell you you're sent off. Go off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. Oh, okay. Uh, Got to laugh. Round nineteen was um, pretty pretty crazy too. Do you want to check out some of the results? What do you reckon? Absolutely. All right. Um, yeah. What happened? You want me to kick off yeah, this oh, one, mate? Kick off. Yeah. What happened to the Rabbitohs? Oh, the bunnies. What, oh. what can I say? They just kept kept scoring and then just letting them score. You know, the Dolphins were much better, but without all their Origin players, that was a game South Sydney absolute let slip. Jai Arrow blew up. I don't know if you saw it at uh, Tane Milne. For his double movement, I think it was Tane Milne for his double movement. He's tackled just short of the line. He just reaches out and Bushka, and uh, Joy Arrow knew straight away. He's like, "What are you doing?" Oh, yeah, that was a bit dumb. Yeah. Yeah, and when they made that breakaway try and full of scored, you saw uh, Joy Arrow again in the in goal, throwing his mouth guard on the ground. He was disappointed. He knew if it, if we lost that game, he goes to his postseason surgery. He, he can't keep playing injured. But if we're a chance of making the finals. Yeah. He was going to keep going. Uh, that loss means it's going to be really tough now to make the finals for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. But credit credit to Wayne Bennett's men, the uh, Dolphins, not the Rabbitohs, the Dolphins. Um, they they played a good game, taking out that game, thirty six to twenty eight. So I wonder that was what, I wonder what um, change room uh, Bennett went into. Yeah, I reckon he might have dogged into both, <laughs> but uh, you never know. What do you think of the Bunnies game? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I didn't get to see all of it, um, but yeah, Dolphins obviously got it in the Dude. end. Yeah, yeah. Sharkies tore the West Tigers oh, apart. Wow. Absolutely, they they really went back into their hole. The West Tigers. It was a game I I thought it was a danger game. I went Sharkies one to twelve because uh, West. Ti- oh, sorry, I just remembered New South Wales won. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, so the Sharks, the, the, the Tigers are a bit of a bogey team for the Sharks. So I thought they um, they might do an upset with the way they played last week. Um, 58 to 6, though, the Sharks absolutely ripped them apart. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and the Saturday game, uh, Titans versus Eels, that was actually a really good game. I thought, I thought it was a really close game. Parramatta were probably a little unlucky at times, but um, the Titans have continued their run up the points table. Parramatta now without Moses from uh, last night. He's yeah. got a torn bicep. He'll be out probably for the rest of the regular season. Yeah, it's going to make it um, tough for the I haven't, there. Yeah, I haven't heard anything official yet, but bicep's usually six to eight weeks. Yeah, I, I've, think, I've seen somewhere he's out for the season because of that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so um, Parramatta in all sorts of trouble dead last. The only thing that's going to help him is goal difference. Mm. And I uh, hope South beat the West Tigers this week to keep them in bottom spot. Yeah. But then, yeah, in the next game we got Broncos and Dragons. Dragons hung on uh, to down the Broncos thirty to twenty six, and leave the Broncos premiership hopes in tatters. They're now um, six straight losses, and down in thirteenth position. Dragons, however, are now looking to get back in the top eight. They're knocking on the door. Uh, they've, they've been in and out a couple of times this year, but they're they're hanging in there. Uh, sea Eagles and the Knights. Uh, Knights miss, obviously missing some key players. Definitely didn't help them um, as the Sea Eagles smashed them and absolutely outplayed the Knights. Manly winning convincingly 44 to 6. Defence was non existent the first half of the Knights. And Manly staying in the top eight now. Knights need to continue the Broncos losing streak this week, I reckon, if there's any chance to get back up in the top eight. Come on, boys. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting game. I did, I did not see the Dragons game going that way. I really thought the Broncos would get a win yeah. there. Dragons are really, really good for the first 50-odd sure. minutes and then just went to sleep. Uh, almost cost them the game. And I, I, I picked the Knights. Manly, I, I don't know where that came from. Yeah. i got no answers. Manly are like the Warriors. They're like uh, the Titans. You know, some days just roll the dice That's and right. bam, they're great. Yeah, and the next week they're not. Yeah. <laughs> speaking yep, speaking exactly. of the tips, let's have a look at what we did. Yep, this so could be bad. First, first three went all right, and then um, yeah, for some reason oh. Broncos just went. No, nah, we're not going to. We don't want to win. We want to lose six in a row. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't realize we took the same tips. So yeah, three out of five did, for yeah. both of us. Mm. How'd you go at home? Let us know yeah. in the chat. Type it in right now. I know. tipped four, PJ. Okay, You're an idiot, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, we, we'll, we'll take that feedback on board.
just in case you missed it before. <laughs> you self well. You self well. Yay. Yeah. Love the blue background too, mate. Great, New South Wales background. Yeah. For our Queensland crazy. fans, I know we got a lot of Papua New Yeah, got a lot of Papua New Guinea boys. I know you all go for Queensland because they're so good. Sorry, but sorry, guys. Not this year. New South Wales all the way, baby. All right, let's uh, check out what's happening in round twenty. We have up first um, uh, no game on Thursday again because of Origin. So Friday at GIO Stadium, we have Raiders up against the Warriors. Uh, Raiders in 11th and Warriors 12th, so they're, they're pretty evenly matched there, uh, even on the odds. Uh, $1.88 for Raiders, $1.96 for Warriors. Both coming off the bye. How do you see this one panning out? Oh, mate, just three wins to both these teams in their last 10 games between them. Um, Warriors have got home the last two times, 21-20 in 2023 and 18-10 earlier this year. It's been a close one. Um, I am going the Warriors 1-12 to but with absolutely no confidence because uh, I don't know which Warriors team's going to show up. That's right. Here we go again. We're going to roll the dice for both of these teams, I think. Um, yeah. But I've, I've tipped Raiders just for the fact they're at home, but yeah, the, the Warriors are still pretty strong. Uh, they've, well, they've, they've won the last couple of games there, so... Mm -hmm. Going to be an interesting game, that one. I, I think, I think so. it's... Uh, one of the matches of the round, actually. I think it's going to be really yeah, close. Even though the lower ranking teams, but still be a bit of a cracker, I reckon. All right, yep. Talking about crackers of a game, this would be another one. Crackers. Um, <laughs> so this one's being played at Gosford at Industry Group Stadium at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Rabbitohs and Tigers. Rabbitohs 15th, Tigers 17th. Battling out with Para for the Spoon. Um, they're paying a $3.48. So Rabbitohs have been given the money, but yeah. That's good money for a two-horse race with uh, Cameron that's Murray out of that South team. They're yeah, both coming off a loss. Mm -hmm. Yep, Bunnies won four in a row before last week's Dolphins loss. West Tigers haven't won the last three matches and conceded 40 in all of them, mm. 40 or more. Bunnies beat them 20-0 and then 32-18. Uh, in the two games last year, I think the Bunnies are going to win. It'll be one to twelve. I'm, I'm, I'm tipping. I think Cameron Murray out makes a big difference. But if Cody plays like he did last week, and the West Tigers play like they did last week, I think, I think South could be in the thirties. They might not get to forties, but they could put a good score on the West Tigers. Yeah. I expect a big bounce back from them, though. Let's wait and see. <laughs> we will wait and see. Scored twenty eight against the Storm one week, and then they can manage six against the Sharks. Uh, Got to work that out. Saturday at 5.30, we go over to McDonald Jones Stadium in Newey. The Knights taking on the Broncos. Knights in 10th, Broncos 13th. Uh, Knights are paying $2.10. Broncos paying $1.74. They're both coming off losses. Even though dra uh, the Broncos and, and the Dragons wasn't a uh, big deficit. But the Knights, yeah, they need to bounce back after last week's really bad performance. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, our mate uh, Walshy is a late inclusion in that team. He had a tough game last night, but I think the Broncos are desperate. They're absolutely yeah. desperate. It wouldn't surprise me to see him slipped into the lineup at the last minute. Don't even have the extended lineup there. We can see if he's actually been named at all. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll throw him back in, mate. Trust me. They they need to win. They just need to win. You know, Knights yeah. um, at home. Should get the win. I've gone Knights 1-12, to but no confidence. Yeah. Um, the Broncos have same. had good wins over them the last two times you can see there. But um, the Knights, a couple, couple of good performance against the Eels and the Raiders. So, so there's something in the recent form to suggest they can do it. But last week was catastrophic. Yeah. It was just, it was just, just not what they needed. Just missing too many key players. Uh, yeah. that, that left edge yeah. in there? Just not what they needed at that point of the season. So... Nights for me in a very close one. Two points, maybe. For sure. We head all the way down to Melbourne after that one at 7.35 at Amy Park. Storm are taking on the Roosters. Now, I think this is going to be probably the game of the round because we've got... Match of the round. We've got num num match of the round, number one versus number three. And it uh, looks like Storm are paying $2.10. Roosters $1.75. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, Yep, yep. Storm five in a row, or five of their last five. 
Roosters four of their last five. That shock to the Cowboys still tarnishes their record. But yeah. both both these last games have been amazingly close. Um, you know, Roosters they've got Suwali nice and fresh because he didn't play Origin and New South Wales won. <laughs> um, Newsflash. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but um, yeah, it's it, it's um, it, it's going to be an absolute block. I can't wait yeah. for this one. This, one this is going to be the game game of the round for sure. For sure. I'll be watching. Hopefully celebrating that earlier Rabbitohs win. Same. <laughs> I'll be celebrating the Knights. The Knights win the yeah. game before. <laughs> yeah. My Let's Storm hope. are my sixteenth Storm are my sixteenth favourite team and the Roosters 16th. are my seventeenth favourite team. <laughs> so these are literally the two teams I hate the most. Um my injuries win. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that. I take that back. I, I don't cheer for injuries. Oh, okay, then we go to Sunday. We go over to Blue Bet Stadium out in Sydney West at 2 o'clock for Panthers and the Dolphins. Panthers in second, Dolphins in six. There, there are some really tough games to pick here this week. This will be another one. Uh, even though Dolphins are paying $4.45. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, especially yeah. after their win against the Rabbitohs and Panthers coming off the bye. Yeah, this being Sunday, I reckon um, Dylan Edwards is a big chance to play. Uh, they've yeah. named Dane Laurie at fullback, but I think Dylan Edwards is a massive yeah. chance to play this being a Sunday 2 o'clock game. Um, Panthers should be too good. I've gone 1 to 12. I don't think the Dolphins are going to collapse. 24-14 um, last time they played, I think it'll be a very similar score this time. Um Tabby Wifado, they, they've got the good players in Dolphins, few few of them back now, so I think they're a big chance to um, push the Panthers all the way. Definitely, and the Panthers yeah. have been scratchy, you know, lost to the Cowboys and the Dragons in the last five. Two games, I reckon they would have thought they'd definitely win, and they struggled against the uh, the Knights and the Broncos as well. So yes. Panthers just aren't the Panthers we know, but they always start turning it on about now. I don't know if you just noticed there, but uh, Nathan Cleary's been named as well, so... I did notice. Yeah. I saw his uh, big um, face, sorry, um, in the picture as well. So he needs a shave. Nah, that's the trend, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> I, I don't know, is it? <laughs> not, not for me. <laughs> no, not for me either. <laughs> uh, 17 year old guys who can grow a better beard than me. <laughs> uh, uh, we continue on Sunday over there. at Four Pines Stadium. That's a second game in a row. Seagulls have got a name. What's going on here? They're taking on the Titans. Uh, Seagulls 7th, Titans 14th. They're paying $2.86 as well. Um, after, uh, both had to come off a win. Yeah, double win. Mm. Yeah, they both had two wins in a row. So um, th- this could go either way. I've gone Titans 1-12 to um, with no confidence at all. Mm. Um, you can see from the form of these last two games that they're just all over the place, these yeah. two teams. You know, so it just depends who turns up on the on the day. Stay right away from this one for your multi, ladies and jellyfish. Sure. Um, yeah. You don't want a, this one to be in your multi because it literally could go either way. Yeah, that's that's why I went seagulls. They're at home, but uh, when I, yeah. as soon as I went seagulls, I went, you know what? The Titans are going to turn up. I just know it. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. Um, where are we up to? We're going to Sunday country. What's it called? Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Such a mouthful. Queensland Crazy. Country Bank Stadium. Oh. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, 6.15. Oh, yeah, 6.15 on Sunday. What an odd time. To Super start. Sunday. Yeah, Super Sunday. Three games. Unreal. So uh, Cowboys are just inside the eight. And Bulldogs sitting in fifth. Uh, they're paying $2.17, though, and Cowboys $1.69. So uh, I think they're looking at the, the home ground advantage, but... We know what the Bulldogs are like. They've they're, um, been playing pretty good this uh, half of the season. <clears throat> yep. It'll be an interesting game. Um, I don't know who to go for, to be honest. Um, I've, I've gone Bulldogs. Sorry, I've gone Cowboys. Yep. Um, 1 to 12, just because I think the Bulldogs will push them all the way. Definitely. I, really, I really think the Bulldogs will push them all the way. They've been in great form, the Bulldogs. They've won three of their last five. Dropping games to the Warriors and the Sea Eagles again, probably two games you want to win. Um, and on the uh, on the Cowboys side, so, sorry, that's the Cowboys side, sorry. And then the Bulldogs side, they only lost to the Roosters in their last five. Mm. So um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting game that's, for sure. Yeah, 
all of these games are going to be crackers, I think. They're all, because we're coming uh, very close to the end of the season, this is the business end of the season, uh, a lot mm. of these teams are playing for, for those spots in the, the top eight. It's, it's going to be, um, all these games are very important. Yeah, why do the NRL? NRL, if you're listening, why do you put the Cowboys on the left-hand side at the top and then the bloody Bulldogs on the bottom? It's so confusing. The yeah, Bulldogs are on the left-hand I think, side. I think it's the home team. Yeah, the yeah, home weird, team isn't it? Yeah. is the left side. So the stats down the bottom are related to Cowboys on the left, but they've got the <laughs> Bronx Bulldogs logo. It doesn't make any if sense. If I had a bit more time, I would switch them around. But it's, you know, no, it's no, no. They do it on the NRL from, website. Yeah, right? It's not you. It's, yeah. it's where it's come from, yeah. It's not you. It's the NRL doing a very average job. Fix that for next weekend, Aaron. <laughs> All right, let's see what we ended up tipping for this week. Uh, we've got a couple of differences. The first game, so yeah, I'm taking Ca- uh, Ca- uh, Raiders. I was going to say Canberra Raiders. And the Warriors, you're taking the Warriors. Mm-hmm. I think I'm taking Seagulls, you're taking Titans. So interesting. Yeah. Yep, just two different. You could be one away from me after this week, Brenner. Cool. I'm 85. What's your score? Tell us. 82. No one ever does. Come on. But tell us. Put Breno's 82. Are you, <laughs> are you beating him, beating me, Probably. or beating both of us? Oh, here we are. All right. I think we might go check out uh, PJ's tip of the week. Woo! Joe's tip of the week. Don't look at the scoreboard. <laughs> Don't look at the scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen. It was a bad week last week. I do apologise. I did get two of the four tips right. I'm just trying to find my tips, sorry. Two of the four tips right, but uh, got all the margins wrong. So Sharks won 13 plus. Broncos lost. Knights lost. Titans won but one to twelve, so got it all wrong there. Sorry, I'll have another go this week. Here's my tip. Are you ready? All right. Warriors one to twelve. Yeah. Bing. Rabbitohs one to twelve. Bing. And that could hurt me if West Tigers don't turn up. I know. Dawn one to twelve. And Panthers one to twelve. And that's my multi this week. Gamble responsibly. And if you're smart, you pick yeah. something else. Yeah, interesting stat. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Tip of the week. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait for that. I think it is. Here he goes. You're gone now. <laughs> interesting there stat, we go. Yeah. Interesting stat, Bruno. Interesting stat. Just after half time last night, I don't know if yeah. you heard what they said, but they said that New South Wales had 29 sets to 21 over Queensland. Yeah. And usually it's about 20 sets each a half. That's 30, sorry, that's 10 extra sets in that game. That's 20% faster than your average game. Yeah, right. I thought that was amazing when they said New South Wales had had 29 yeah. sets. It ended up 46. I'm just looking at the stats here. They end up with 46 sets, which is a bit above average. I think the second half slowed down a bit. Queensland got 32 out of 39. New South Wales completed 36 out of 46. But the speed of that game, yeah. that was gold, but, absolute yeah. gold. What, what do you expect, though? Like, this, that's the whole idea of the origin. you got the best of the best in the NRL colliding together, and it was just yeah, amazing game. The, both coaches picked the right teams, I think, for yeah, yep. just a cracking game. It's all done. And then stick those boys inside an arena with 55,000 screaming Queenslanders with two Queen heads. Lola. That's 110,000 heads. It's a, it's <laughs> crazy. It's 110,000 heads. No wonder if no one could hear anything. Fair dinkum. But well done, New South Wales. Match Maguire, well done. We love you. We've always loved you. And uh, take the pick of the jobs you want. Now, I heard, I heard a rumour on 2GB today. I don't know if you heard it, but they're now saying Jason Riles has been released today to start work on his new job next year. Oh. There is rumours Madge Maguire will be the guy who takes over the Melbourne Storm. Right. 
So yeah. Bellamy has, uh, I think he's, has he agreed to one more year? Or is that still up in the air? Know. Yeah, I think he's agreed to one more year, but maybe that's going to change. Hmm. Michael Maguire yeah. started out with Bellamy at the Storm. Yeah, he they, could be back there very soon. Did everyone forget what he did with the Eels, though? <laughs> I suppose he got him to one grand final. But... Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I think that's all we've got time for. Has he got, has he I think it is. Show in there anymore? Random stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, that was a um, a good week of football. Yeah. Good Let's luck to the going. Newcastle Knights this weekend. Oh, the Broncos will be a tough challenge, yeah. but both teams are desperate. It should be an Origin like game, I reckon. Both teams are super desperate, hmm. and uh, hopefully the Bunnies get over the uh, West Tigers in the bottom of the table challenge. <laughs> okay, guys, don't forget to jump on to our. NRL Live Chat 2.0 Facebook page. Join in on the chat each week when we um, we get it going. Oh, it's already going now because we, we started it last night with the Origin. Yeah, get on there. Let us know what your tips are. We love seeing your tips. <laughs> yep. Enjoy the games. Have fun. And for one more See. time. Go to Bruce. Go New Woo. South Wales. <laughs> go New South Wales. <laughs> Woo! Uh, good night, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Tune in to another action-packed episode of the NRL Live Chat 2.0 podcast. We hope you enjoyed the show. Be sure to check out all of the NRL Live Chat 2.0 action on our Facebook group page. Come and join the chat. Goodbye.